So we had the crop grade presentation today and I joined with my grade 10. We are just into genetics, so for me it was very interesting to hear because it's a practical part of the topic. Before I didn't really think of agriculture as a really interesting thing, but people came to us and they educated us on how the crop crate works. And I think they also kind of really inspired us. So now I actually think it's really interesting and also kind of our future. In creating the crop crate, education was a very important part of its development. There's a lot of science that goes into it as well. It's not just agriculture, it's not just farming, but it's the idea that I'm able to control uh, every input that's going into the system so that then I can easily identify what the outputs are and I'll actually have good data uh, for my experiment coming out of it. I think the crop crate is going to be actually an evolutionary design to agriculture and that's going to help a lot of people in rural areas in Ethiopia, also in other countries because this is very simple to operate and also easy to learn. It's going to be a really good way for us to get to do stuff with science and not just theoretical applications and stuff. Probably I'll be the statistical overview guy who sits there and does the programming stuff. I think I'm more going to be on the research, like actually doing things, working with the plants because I really enjoy working outside. Right now I'm uh, attending one project of one grade 12 student and she is planting coffee for instance and with this system it would be so much better because she can calculate the amount of water and keep the light on the same level all the time. She can really skip lots of uh, different failures which can occur if you just do it in the normal classroom. I hope that we can find new things, grow new crops, we'll just have to see. We just have to experiment with that. So our whole class is really, really excited about using the crop crate. Everybody is like really talking about it right now. So we're really happy and thankful.